Hi, I'm Mallory. This is Jane, our American alligator, and she lives in our living collection here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Jane, as an alligator, has a lot of really amazing adaptations all over her body that help her to survive out in the wild. A couple of the really cool things that she has that helps her to survive are that she has this amazing long and muscular tail. This tail helps her to navigate through the swamp waters um, very quickly and efficiently so she can capture her prey. Um, and it acts kind of like a rudder, so it helps her to steer very efficiently in the water. Um, another thing that you might notice about Jane is that her eyes and nose are on the top of her head. So she has that so that she can float along the water and her eyes and nose can remain above the water level so she can still see and breathe um, without having to come constantly up um, to see and breathe all the time. So she kind of lives a life a lot like a log in the water and she lays there and waits for her prey because she wants to conserve her energy for when it really counts. Another cool thing that alligators do is that alligators are some of the first animals to really adopt the idea of saving some of their food for later. So after they've used this energy to hunt and catch their prey that they want to eat, they can actually drag the rest of their prey down to the bottom of the water surface um, and hide it underneath some rocks and it keeps it nice and cool just like in your refrigerator when you save your leftovers and you want to come back and pick at them later. She does the same thing which is really pretty amazing. You'll also notice that she's got webbed feet. This helps her to swim very efficiently through the water, but she also can walk on land, even though that's not as easy for her as swimming. So they can walk on land. And finally, a really cool characteristic that they have is called countershading. So her back is a dark color and her belly is a light color. And the reason why that is, is because in the swampy areas where they're found in the southeastern United States, the water is really dark. Um, so they're very dark on top to blend in with any predators that are looking at them from above. And they're really light below because if the water is shining through, the, or if the light is shining through the water, a fish that's swimming by um, doesn't necessarily see her because she's camouflaged that way as well. So it's kind of being double camouflaged on her back and her belly, which also helps her to survive in the wild. You can meet Jane and other reptiles in our living collection starting daily on October 20th.